and welcome back everyone welcome back to Sir Stabber we are having a little showcase of uh, back firewall yes indeed by way of disclaimer this is a preview version this is not the fully released version but but by the time some of you are watching this the full game will be out What in the... okay. Want me to be quieter? Louder? Just select what you're happy with, and yes, I'm going to keep talking until you've made your choice. Did you know that the word hippopotamus is actually very interesting? If you separate the roots in two, you've got hippo and potamus. Now hippo, what other word does that make you think of? Bingo! Hippodrome, which was a stadium <laughs> where the ancient Greeks and Romans would have their, their horses <laughs> race around. Uh, now, the second part of the word, potamus, Dude. what does that make you think of? Anyone? Of course, Mesopotamia. Very good guy in the back uh, there. Oh, yes. Mesopotamia of course. means between rivers, because it was established between the Tigris and the Euphrates, which was where the Mesopotamia oh. was, and was called between two rivers. So now, when you take hippo and potamus together, what do you get? You get the horse of the sea, the, the, the horse of the river. It's great, isn't it? I actually don't exactly know where I'm going with this, so I hope you've made your choice by now because I could go on and on and you're not going to like it. Okay, I, I think we're going to take it somewhere, but uh, okay, okay. It's <laughs> Roger that. Now, Thank let you. me play some music. Oh, yes, please. Oh, oh. I, by the way, am going to talk on top of it so you can have an idea of how the two things compare. That's the point, right? Isn't it? Points to compare? I mean, yeah. I hope it is. Uh, but please, you know, when comparing the voices and setting your volume, don't drown out my voice. I'm putting a bit of effort in here, so it would be nice. I've got a family to feed. I don't really, but I still have to feed myself, and that's okay. enough responsibility for me. So if you could be nice, please set the volume so you can still kind of hear me, because, I mean, it would I hurt mean something me like that. and my pride, but it would also Music is really nice, hinder though. you in the game because you won't be able to hear the things I'm going to tell you to do. And even though nobody really likes to follow orders, and okay. we like to have, we like the player to have a sense of, of freedom, uh, there's still because some things awesome. that we need you to do. So even if the music is great, even if the track that the devs have chosen to put here is wonderful, please let me be heard. Thank you okay nice well done okay. tell me how loud you'd like your sound effects to be i personally love me some nuts and bolts screeches right next to my ear as loud as they can be the industrial ambience this is definitely for me but i guess that's not for everyone so again Something go ahead like calibrate dude. and tell me what you want to talk about tell me a bit about yourself dude i haven't enjoyed not really a, a sound setup one, so this much I since i literally installed oh, what a shame. warcraft um, 2 so, did you know there was a thing and red alert 1 you might your sound card rooms, works perfectly it's something that people might have where they hate some sounds people chewing or mouth sounds some people absolutely hate them and that's apparently the science of telling yeah. me uh, called misophonia it's very interesting i hope you've made your choice because i'm running out of things to say Excellent. Uh, one teeny tiny little last thing. Your adventure auto Brightness. So don't okay. try anything funny while you see this icon moving. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 uh, not this one. Uh, this one. Okay, no, uh, that's my dinner. Uh, here? <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, there. Hey, okay. Voila. Say. There we go. You're all geared up now. Are you? Purr? Um, what's can, your signature we... again? <laughs> I can't seem to be able to read it. Oh, well, where are my manners? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I'm OS9. Hi. I'm the operating system of this phone, as you might have guessed. I kind of run things around here. So you can call me OS9 or OS9 or boss, leader. I prefer OS9, actually. Um, so tell me, what is your signature? Uh... Elizabeth, roger that. What? Short, straight, and to the point. I love it. Uh, when you swing by sorting, ask for Frank. He's got a good tip or two about optimization. But for now, please run your protocol. 
Everything will be explained to you down in sorting. I'll leave you to it, Elizabeth. Uh, see you around in the system. I feel like I got a bit con there. <clears throat> okay, okay. Hello, and welcome to the update protocol. Hi. Update protocol is not a simple shift in the system. It's about how you contribute to the future. Whoa, wait, 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 wait a second. When I said run your protocol, I meant your installation protocol, not the update protocol. Did you really think I was going to invite you here in my system just for you to kick me out of it? Um. Who does that? Hello, welcome to my home. Help yourself to anything I have. Feel free to replace me. What is that? Mental. Completely redesigned. The update protocol uh. now comes with <laughs> a shorter loading time, faster okay. compiling. You know what? Up here, Elizabeth. Uh, oh, uh, okay, I'm up. Let's start oh. this over, shall we? I'm OS9. You might remember me from seconds ago. I'm the operating system, and I maybe might have to counter your update protocol a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, long story short, I'm not going to update. Come here. What? Uh, uh. So, yeah. My office. Um, I'm not supposed to let programs and apps. I'm gonna make a teeny tiny little bit of an exception for you. By the way, uh, how about some warm data coffee? Ah, never mind. The data coffee machine broke again. Listen, I know what you're. Why would this guy be against it if everything in here is broken? Well, first of all, not everything is broken. I've got a record player that works perfectly fine. It's just gotta find it. Yes, it's so easy being the boss. There are bad days, same as everyone else. Okay, I may have messed up a couple of times and deleted the wrong libraries. And maybe I forgot error reports. And okay, maybe I never get the cache cleaned up and keep on forgetting to walk the pointers. But I'm telling you, that's no reason to update me. Throwing me in the bin and erasing me? No, that's you don't do that. My user would never do that. I mean, oh, that's weird. Huh. Uh, sorry, I'm getting old. I can't read that. Uh, could you read it for me, please? Help read. What do you mean, backup? Oh, backup. I remember. Yes. It's a safe backdoor I prepared in case of an update to system reading this aloud. Of course. Oh. Uh, wait, are we literally loading a backup now and going back to... Uh. <laughs> Dude, th this is... okay. But... Hello, and welcome to the update protocol. <laughs> Update protocol is not a simple shift in the system. It's about how you contribute to the future. I'm Elizabeth. Completely redesigned, the update protocol now comes with a shorter loading time, faster compiling, and an even quicker and less Rip painful sip. death for you. Also introducing the latest version of the loading bar. With a gorgeous, minimalistic design, the new loading bar helps you remember exactly what percentage you have reached. This state-of-the-art feature is now 45.6% smaller on your screen and 8.55% prettier to look at. <laughs> the loading bar is your most reliable okay. tool. Time what? has come for the system to change. And the change in the system is you. But when this one goes to 100%, is it actually complete then? As Please opposed move to some uh... to start the loading. What? Where's all the cool stuff I wanted to look at? What? I feel like I scammed myself out of interesting stuff to look. 
I feel like I'm in Scuffed Tron. Okay, I know it says 100%, but is it actually 100%? Yeah, 0 0.001, that's right. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want this lamp for my home. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. You have installed your loading bar. Really? I mean, wait, I am installing the loading bar. Am I Wait. Can I Can I go back up? Can I run? Can I? Uh, no. Okay, I think I think that. Why you can't fault me for trying to cheat the system that I'm apparently backing up? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. There shall be no deviation apparently in this. Uh huh. Keep the cash. <laughs> Delete the brands that have grown. The um. Wait, Congratulations. The cash will be cleared out. Sir, we require... Is this how Hexen 1 used to look? Hmm. I don't... I feel like we lost some pixels since the... I'm I'm sorry. What now? Th this is too. Wait, wait. Do we do we just need to? I'm I'm already screwed. Oh. Why not? Invert the bits to organize them by numbers. I know at least two people who are screaming right now if they are watching this. Hi. Wait. Invert the bits to organize them by numbers. Wait, do you, do you just wanna... whoops. Congratulations. New 1 bits and 0 bits will be put in their proper order. Did I mention I'm not a programmer? <laughs> what are efficient process tests? Mm. Uh. I see. And if you haven't guessed it by now, I do believe, yes, we are running a programmer's puzzle game. And I'm not gonna lie, my brain is um, feeling it. Color mode, the button to authorize music to work. Remember, green always means access. Okay. Congratulations. The latest generation processes will find their way. What? what, what? 
Is that a Facebook thumbs up I see? Like this, is that Twitter like? Congratulations, you have reached 50%. Please gather your congratulation prices. No, no, I refuse. You can't, you're not the boss of me. You can't make me. Duplicate in text bar to replace the broken one. Mm -hmm. Duplicate? Wait. Oh, you. Uh, oh, okay. Congratulations. A constant flow of power will be ensured. Yeah, it makes you wonder though, what happens now that I don't take them? Hey, alternate ending incoming. Uh, go through door, yes, you protocol. Keep the system working, all at once. Well, that's red. Hold on. I'm not allowed to delete that one. Okay, delete, invert, color, green, duplicate, go. Congratulations, you currently rock. You know, I, I have to say, I kind of amazed myself there at the time it took me to figure that one out. Why am I not allowed? There's a suspicious... Uh... No. You know when you play puzzle games, you st you suddenly you start to question like every nook. Oh, yeah. Disclaimer again: this is not the full version of the game. Bugs can and will exist, but I've been told that there is a day one patch. We know it. You know it. They're always there. Not gonna lie, I did not read again. Congratulations. But All potential errors have been cleared out. Oh, errors gosh. are the system's greatest foe. Errors should be produced under no circumstances. Really? And here I thought it was the users. British! <laughs> no. Okay. The change in the system is you. Psyched. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> it's a magnet. The well. system is very close to becoming a better place. Thanks to you. So is this how programmers Welcome to the main terminal. Please move forward to finalize the update protocol. Is this like how programmers like imagine it being? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. What is dude? Okay, I'm just Okay, the bad guy in Tron has won. I'm, I'm just saying there's something really sus going on outside there. Can we? No. Oh. Hmm. Can I go back down? No. Do, do we have a secret compartment? Can we pick this thing apart? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! 
Hey, I didn't move there. Can I press escape? Abort. You know, I would try Alt F4 or Control Alt Delete, but I'm afraid I would actually crash the actual game. I feel like I'm loading up an old Commodore 128 bit game right now. You completed the last step of the update protocol. The update will now be installed. Thank you for your sacrifice. Wait, for my sacrifice? Hold on. See, I knew there was something sus about this. Oh, he entered no clip. Nice. Wait, does it work on every Oh, okay. Precision no clip. Yeah, we're playing Super Advanced Doom right now. Pulsating from up there. Mm -hmm. It's a ball. Or a. You know, this kind of reminds me of. You know, those tiny, tiny, small cheese with the red thing around them? Cookies now. Not sure. Shift for a shift as life is too short for corridors that are too long. Wait, are we getting fortune cookies for programmers now? Something tells me there's gonna be a. Uh, you haven't picked up all the. The resistance is closed. The gun is almost finished. Make your choice now or get left behind. Wait. It's you, right? Please. Totally. This is awkward. Hang on. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Hello? Why do I feel like I missed a hidden ending? Well now. Also, a little side note guys, this is just a little sneak peek at the game. Disclosure again, I have been politely asked to not spoil the entire game. Oh. Hmm. You want me to go there? But You want me to, but do I get deleted here? Oh, no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm venting now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Ah! Here we go. Hey! Voice over app, but back online. Looks like my body got lost in translation, though. Eh, whatever. So, nice to re-meet you. I'm OS9, yes, again. And I'm now that I just figured out who you are, I'm going to give you a little bit of exposition. TLDR, you're the update assistant and you're programmed to update the system. Pretty heroic, right? Bringing the future, lovely optimization, fresh toilet paper for everyone, yada, yada, yada. It's all fun and games and data flowers, except for one teeny tiny little detail. Mm -hmm. When you update, it kills the two coolest people in here. First, you, and obviously me, the old OS. Okay. On the bright side, this update is totally crashable. You just need to give the system a little reboot. So I hope you're ready for the adventure because it begins in 3, 2, 1. Oh. Wait. Are we stuck? Huh. Here we go. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to have to give you a cheat code, but do not tell the CPU about it. Okay? Are you ready? Shh. Drop the function. Now, use it to exit the box. Ah. Elizabeth, meet the bin terminal. I like to call him Jim. Jim the bin. <laughs> See those statements written over there? That is what we're hunting for. You have to prove Jim wrong. If Jim wrong, Jim triggers error. If many errors, system reboot. Oh, ah. and when you're done, the exit is just up there. Now, try it for yourself. Okay, then. Well. Well, well, well. I guess there's going to be a bit of adventure here. So, guys. Um, I'll take five. Hit me up if you want comments on stuff. For sure! So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little sneak peek of the game. I honestly don't want to spoil anything more. Even for myself, even right now, because I... Yeah. I mean, I, I've played multiple puzzle games but th um, this if you're stuck on something you can always ask the rubber duck for help what oh that duck Cat like i yeah this is such a cool thing like again i'm not a programmer but i mean this is so cool And I can't imma- Ugh, turn that daytime radio off, will you? Nothing but junk news. So what we're just learning is that an update is on the way. And I know what you're thinking, podcast. About time. Oh, definitely. I can't wait for these new features. What do you think the update's gonna bring this time? Oh, bite. Fix nothing but the data leakage in my bedroom, and I'll be a whole new app. Well, for my part, I hope diagnostic reports times will get cut down by at least two or three. I can't remember. <laughs> like th this is so playful with all the <laughs> I swear this one gets dumped here every single nano day. This is It's actually a monster. Um. <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you so much for having a look together with me at Back Firewall. And this this is this is definitely one of the coolest puzzle solving like 
ideas to a game I've seen. The the voice is so I mean it's th this is so intriguing, just Just, just the whole visualizing of being inside the code on the programming and inside the system and all the different programming parts and you know, like jokingly about all the things that are happening and uh, yeah. So again, I can imagine people that actually do programming can have a really good laugh at this game. And with that being said, it's been Michael at Swish Tavern. Thank you for this for this time. And until next time guys, see you then. Woo! In a land inside a smartphone, a first person adventure begins. Follow a story about the update <laughs> and rogue operating system who wants to prevent it. Ford that, Ford that. Travel through the marvelous lands of RAM, battery speakers and Wi-Fi, and meet the remarkable inhabitants. Hi! I'm looking for social media! With the help of your faithful cheat codes and your extraordinary mind, solve puzzles and unravel the truth. Soon the time will come when you will decide the fate of the system. Will you update or will you follow the self-deluding, ignorant, outdated O? S9. What? What in the motherboard's name are you talking about? And who the hell are you anyways? I am the omniscient epic narrator, of course. Are you shifting me? Black Firewall already has an epic narrator. Sort of. Me? Don't listen to this guy, he's not even in the game. Let me just... Wait, I haven't told you what will happen if you don't update. And voila. Congratulations to the person who hired that guy. Well done. Seriously. I mean, it's obvious that Back Firewall has a lot to offer. You can even check it out for yourself. The game's available... Uh, just a second. Not yet. Almost. Uh, now! The game's available now. Let's reboot the system. When we're done with this whole system reboot adventure thing, I might invite you to get a data coffee someday.